Breaking news out of Miami, the Miami Dolphins star receiver Tariq Hill has just put on his Snapchat story that Odell Beckham Jr. is going to Miami. Now, I think that this is a big time move, and I think this honestly will make this Miami Dolphins team have the best receiving core in probably NFL history. I know that's a big claim, but that is true. Now, I know this move means a lot for a lot of people, but in this video, I'm going to tell you the implications of this move for the Atlanta Falcons and what I think the Atlanta Falcons will do going forth. Now, number one implication is that obviously OBJ is not going to Atlanta. I thought that would be a good fit for both him and Atlanta. It's a bigger city. He can let his personality shine. But also on the field, he doesn't have to be that primary target. He can play off of the young players, Drake London, Darnell Mooney. And he could be a savvy veteran who can make plays in this offense. Same offense as he ran out there in the L.A. Rams. What happened that year? He, he was basically Super Bowl MVP if he did not get hurt. Second implication from this move, a lot of teams, this shows that a lot of teams are moving away from that veteran presence and they're moving toward that young receiver in the draft. A lot of people are saying Odell Beckham probably is not going to sign for a lot, especially with Miami. I think they're pretty much maxed out in regards to their salary cap. So a lot of people are saying this is going to be a great deal for Miami. This is just a place that Odell Beckham decided to choose to go to. And so because of that, I thought a lot of teams would be interested in him. Obviously not. A lot of teams are moving toward that, hey, we're gonna, we're just going to draft a guy, young guy. We'd rather develop a young guy to get in a veteran, savvy wide receiver. Now, going forward, I think this also means a lot for the Atlanta Falcons. I think this move cements that they're probably going to pick up a receiver in the draft rather than do one in free agency. I know they had one in free agency. They got Van Jefferson last year. I don't think they like that pick, to be honest. I don't think they like Van Jefferson that much. He made plays, but obviously he's not on the team anymore. So I think they're going to pivot to that draft. I think they're going to pick up a young stud or hopefully a young stud in the last, in like the fourth or fifth round, kind of like the Puka Nakua I'm on St. Brown. I know that's hard to pick those guys, but I think Terry Fontenot wants to move that direction rather than pick up a free agency target. So I don't anticipate any more free agency moves in regards to the Atlanta Falcons, in regards to the wide receiver position. I think they'll pick up a receiver late round. But this move is huge for Miami. I think this kind of propels them up another level. I know they lost a lot of guys on their roster, but adding him back in is a big deal. And to an already elite offense, this just takes them a step above. So, but if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos like this, check it out right here. And like always, peace.